Spontaneous coronary artery dissection is an important though rare cause of acute coronary syndrome. Management of SCAD is different from that of acute coronary syndrome due to atherosclerosis. High index of suspicion is required for the diagnosis of SCAD in young patients with acute coronary syndrome. Unlike atherosclerotic coronary artery disease, management of SCAD is mostly medical in stable patients. Revascularization is considered only in high-risk patients with left main dissection, ongoing ischemia, severely limited flow, hemodynamic compromise, or refractory cardiac arrhythmia. It has been mentioned that only 10% of cases occur in men, often following a physical cause like exercise or lifting heavy objects. In general, SCAD may contribute from 1-4% to of cases of acute coronary syndrome. Percentage will be higher of the order of 15 to 20 percent in peripartum acute coronary syndrome. Prevalence of up to 35 percent among acute coronary syndrome in women below the age of 60 years has been reported. A large series of 327 patients with SCAD has been reported from Canada. 90.5 percent were women in this prospectively followed cohort. All had presented with myocard infarction, of which 25.7% had ST elevation myocard infarction, while 74.3% had non-ST segment elevation myocard infarction. Presentation with ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation was noted in 8.9%. Emotional stress was noted in 48.3%, and physical stress in 28.1% as potential precipitating factors. Fibromuscular dysplasia was present in 62.7% and systemic inflammatory disease in 11.9%. Connective tissue disorder was noted in 4.9%. Only 16.5% were treated with percutaneous coronary interventions and 2.2% with coronary artery bypass graft surgery. 83.1% were treated medically initially. Overall, major adverse event rate was 7.3% in the hospital. At a median follow-up of 3.1 years, death rate was 1.2%, recurrent myocard infarction 16.8%, and stroke or transient ischemic attacks 1.2%. Recurrence of SCAD occurred in 10.4%. Beta blocker use diminished the risk of recurrent SCAD while hypertension increased the risk. Another nationwide readmission database study had 1,386 patients over a 5 year period which constituted 0.052% of more than 2.6 million admissions with acute myocardial infarction. Readmission rate was higher with SCAD, 12.3% versus 9.9%. 80.6% of the readmissions were for a cardiac cause, 44.8% being due to acute myocardial infarction, 20.1% due to chest pain, and 12.7% with arrhythmia. Over 50% of the readmissions were within one week of discharge. Important aspects in long-term management of SCAD are screening for fibromuscular dysplasia and other disorders of blood vessels, monitoring for recurrence and cardiac rehabilitation in general. First set of journal references. Second set of journal references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.